hope you're doing well. My name is Manus and welcome to my Minecrafter series. On the first episode, we learned how to create a world. Now, we're not actually going to play in that world. We're going to make a new one. So, in order to do that, I'm on the Xbox One edition, but I'll try to remember some of the computer controls. But first, press, press A on Create New and start putting your options. Keep it on survival because this is the one we're going to play. And now I'm going to name our world. I'm just gonna name it Minecrafters. There we go. And now I'm gonna turn up the starting map. I'm going to put difficulty to normal. And I think there's one more thing I want to disable. Fire spreads. Yeah, and I'm just gonna disable that. Now, here's a heads up. Keep an eye on the information when it's loading on your screen. The, and this is Bedrock Edition, not Java or Pocket Edition. Mine is Bedrock, so just to give you a heads up. Okay, so the first control I'm going to show you is how to move forward, backward, left, and right. So on your controller, move the left joystick for up to move forward, move the left joystick down to move down, move the left joystick left to move left, and to move right, move the left joystick right. Now, in order to turn, use the right joystick to help you turn around. The, the direction you turn it, that's the direction you're going to be facing in. And to jump, press A. Now I'm going to teach you how to mine blocks. So hold RT. That's right, not pull. press RT. Hold it. Now, this depends. This isn't as easy as you think it is. This actually depends on how long it takes to mine that block. If you can instrument it, which means you can just mine it with one hit, and you press it once, then you leave it. Now, here's a good strategy, how to place blocks. Now, press LT to place them. And now that we've done that, I think I'm going to show you a good strategy. So, press A and then press LT. Now, here are the computer controls. W is to move forward. A is to stride left or turn left. D is to move down. And... Um, I don't, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't mean D, I mean S is to move down and D is to turn right. Now, the reason why I put this tower here is because this is our spawn point. In Minecraft survival mode, you can die. So, you want to be pretty careful about that. First thing you should do, I found some sheep. Now, you need, a, if you see a sheep, don't delay. Especially in your beginner time. Because these sheep can be really useful for you. You need them to make bed in order to skip the night. The reason why I'm saying you need to skip the night is because monsters spawn. And we're not so prepared. Oh, come on. Oh, and to attack, just press RT. Don't hold it this time. There we go. Now, you can see... You can see that on the bottom screen of my screen there's this little rectangle that's divided that is my heart bar your heart bar allows you to well how do i say it okay i don't know where the world went but the heart bar allows you to hold stuff so in order to navigate through that press rb and r and lb right rb and lb to navigate through here Oh, and on a computer, in order to jump on a computer, press the space bar. Now, I'm, I'm primarily looking for wool that we can survive the night. But I think I don't see any more sheep. So, dude, that's a monster. Or that's a creeper. They blow up. Why am I so unlucky in this world? I'm not lying. How did a creeper get here? Now, I'm going to mine some wood. This it's really important you do, and I'm probably gonna have to create a shelter soon to survive the night because you do not want to be 
they're barefoot. Well, by barefoot, I mean bare with nothing to sur help you survive. And creepers are one of the most annoying mobs. So now you have to go into your inventory. In order to do that, press X. And on the computer, press E. Now you, you can store other things in here by pressing A, moving your joystick, and pressing A again to drop it. You can also press Y to drop. Oh, wait. What I mean by that is, how do I say it? The Y is to exit, is for you to throw down that item. You do not want it in your inventory. But we want this. And the quick move for it is keep this here and press Y. Um, I, I think to drop it in the computer, you press Q. But I'm not sure about um, the quick, the quick move. So now, that, so now once we've done that, I think I should probably make a little dirt shelter here. Because we need to survive the night. So I, and I'm pretty sure we only have 10 minutes to do that. One Minecraft day is 20 minutes. Dude, I can't believe I'm missing spot, but here we go. I'm just gonna try creating a little shelter here. It's not gonna be the most fanciest shelter. The reason why I'm doing using dirt is because, well, I don't really feel like gathering a lot of wood. And um, the reason why I'm creating a shelter first is because we don't have tree wool. You need tree wool in order, tree wool blocks, I'm sorry, in order to create something. Okay, we fell in the cave. Wonderful. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you this rule. I don't know if you've heard it before, but never dig straight down. Never mind, never dig straight down. I didn't do that, but I move without looking. So make sure you look before you move. And it needs to be at least like three blocks high. Why I'm saying that? I'm saying that because you need a roof after that. The block spiders. Spiders are one of the nastiest monsters. But I think it's time. So go over here and you'll see this. This is your recipe book. Press A to do it once. If you press Y, you'll craft all your items. Which you don't want to do. Is that a creeper? Why is there a creeper here? Dude. I'm so annoyed by the fact there's literally a creeper. And now it's chasing me. Run. Run. I'm going to have to do it bare fist handed. Come on creeper. Get away from my house. You, you see it blowing white, right? That means it's about to explode. Yes, they, and if I don't have any armor, I'll die from just this creeper blowing. Be pretty careful. See, it blew up. At least we got some freedom with us not having to mine it. The only real question is, oh, there's the wood block. Yay, now we can craft a bed. So, pop down your crafting table and press LT to use it. Now, press A on the white bed. You need three type of any same color wool and three type of any planks. Well, I think the same color planks, but I'm just going to keep on mining this. There we go. Now we can skip the night. Yay, right? Well, don't get too excited. We're going to do go. We're going to eventually go dangerous here now i i only crafted the bed because i had wood but if you don't you need to create a shelter quickly and then place a door which i'll show you how to craft you here's how you craft a door you need six types of any same plank the reason why i'm saying any same planks is because there's different type of wood and you can create different types of planks and you get three doors you just need to create a tree block high thing of this and then place a roof over it. And make sure you have torches, which I'm going to show you how to do soon. I'm going to craft a pickaxe, okay? We need to mine stone. And the reason why I'm not creating a wooden axe 
Stone axes are faster than wood. Any stone material is faster than wood, but and the stronger it is, which means it has more durability. Tools can break, like in real life. So the more durability it has, the more faster it'll mine. Well, that's what I think it is. That's really. So now you can see the sun is setting. That boy think there is the sun. Keep an eye on that. Once you have your bed. Press LT to sleep. You will either see, see, you might see the bed is too far away, or you can only sleep at night. How? Uh, but once the sun is setting like this, uh, I want to be really cautious because monster spawning is is horrible. Okay, once I was barehanded and barely had any materials, but I had to survive the night. Okay. Yeah, that happened to me before. I also once died in a ravine, which is a structure we'll eventually find. I once died in there, and I respawned at night. It was horrible, and I didn't have, and I di and I couldn't make a bed in order to skip the night. And there are monsters everywhere. So now you can see it's setting. It has to completely touch the ground before you can sleep. So I'm still waiting for it to shut down completely. This once it reaches like a, about half of the sky, it moves pretty quick down. And that's why I do this. That's why it wouldn't. Now that we've gotten this, I think we should go. I think I should show you what I was planning to do. Uh, there's some. Look at that black material. Look at that stone rope which has black dots in it. I'm going to create some stone things first, and then I'm only gonna really and that. See, wood mine's really slow, especially if you have a pickaxe. Wooden pickaxe is mine slow. Now here's how you craft a stone pickaxe. You need two sticks. You need two sticks and three cobblestone. Now what is that cobblestone material? See, when you mine stone regularly, you don't get the stone, you get cobblestone. So, press A on stone pickaxe, and here's why I chose this. I'll put the wooden pickaxe in my inventory. Stone pickaxes mine way faster than wood. It's only a slight change, but trust me, it does mine faster. So, I'm still gonna have to mine. I'm only mining some stone because I want to create a bunch of stone tools. Better than wood at least. And I'm go I'm trying to get up to there doing a little bit of parkour. And this this is a also it takes longer to mine. But you see we get coal. This is needed to you can use this to smelt items. Or create torches. I mostly use them for creating torches. If I have to smelt a bunch of items, then I use coal. Yes, this takes a while to mine, but it'll be worth it. We have a bunch of coal. I often leave some of the ore. Okay, in case you die and you lose all your items, leave some ore around so you can collect it back up later. Now, I'm, I'm not going to mind that. I'm going to start creating a few more stone tools. First of all, a stone sword and then a stone axe. Ta-da! I'm going to stick in my inventory. Stone axes allow you to mine wooden things faster. Does that, which in my opinion is pretty neat. Why am I hearing monster sounds? That's... That bone rattling was a skeleton sound. I don't know why I'm hearing those monster sounds. And yes, there are more tools I could make, but I'm just not doing that. Some of the tools are pretty useless, and you don't need all of the time, like hoe. Hoes, we're not going to create a farm yet. We have meat, okay? I do not need a farm yet, but we're eventually going to create one. That's why... And that's why you need to collect seeds and other types of food. Anyways, I think I, I should have gotten more stone. Wait. Uh, I know, journeying to stone. But be careful when you're mining in extreme hills. 
or mountain because si there's these monsters called silverfish if you mine one piece of stone a bunch of some of the stone could uh, could break and then and then these little wriggly monsters come they're so annoying and i'm still mining this of course 26 cobblestone seems enough for me now if you create dirt houses like this you also have a pretty good sign but bigger houses give you an even bigger sign than it's just a house i'm gonna place down this i don't know why i keep on hearing monster sounds that was a spider sound and i just don't like the place of this thing now this is likely kind of spooking me out a little now where are these monster sounds coming from it's so weird like i don't see them but you hear them now take any wooden thing and place it in the furnace and put anything that can be smelted food like raw food it can be smelted into cooked food which is even better for you I'm only gonna add in all of my planks to smelt that up. Now you can also add coal. Coal is able to smelt eight items at once. So if you have a stack which is 64 of something, you need eight coal in all to smelt that. Let me grab this. I still need to smelt some of the raw mud in. There's a there's this thing called a smoker which allows you to smell faster. Now why do I need cooked food and it's better than raw food? Well you see those little meat bars on my sides? Those are my hunger bars. If they get to zero, I'll start taking a lot of damage. My hearts they'll get down. And if they go to zero, if there's if there's no more red, then I'll die. And I don't wanna die. And let's see. Okay, everything is smelted. I often try to organize my invent inventory a little bit. Makes it easier. There we go. 27 planks. Seems like enough. Now, what am I going to do with this? Well, first of all, I think I should probably craft some torches. 16 torches. Not enough. Oh, and uh, by the way, you can craft things in the 4x4 four four area. They just need to, if it's, however, if you need more than three things wide, then you can use this area. Why am I creating sticks for torches? We're going to go caving soon. That's why I took coal. Now, it's important you bring a crafting table when you're caving. Don't forget the bed, okay? Beds are important. Put the cobblestone in my room. Sorry, why do I even need that? Make sure you bring other wood with you. And I know I'm kind of going ahead, but hey, I've, I've played this for a long time. And I feel like I'm not going to do it immediately right now. I'm going to tell you how to be prepared. So get ready for that. First thing first, first rule when caving, bring torches or any light source. You need to be able to see and plus you and plus you can stop monsters from spawning spawning means something randomly appears a mob randomly appears a mob is a animal or a monster in minecraft okay guys so what i was saying about preparing for caving that we're actually going to cover in the next episode. I think it's good I show you farming because in order to keep a good food supply. So to, in order to get farming stuff, you see grass, you need to mine that. And when you mine grass, you have a chance of getting seeds. That's right, you won't always get seeds, you just have a chance. And, and sometimes, however, though, you can enchant something which basically means make a tool more special tool or armor more special and uh, and you can get a higher chance of getting seeds but we don't have that right now right now and we're probably gonna get that pretty later okay the sun is setting we'll probably be careful that why is there a shrouded flesh here i think a zombie died 
So I'm going to go place down my bed and hold my sword. I like to sleep on my sword in case sometimes monsters may spawn even when you sleep and it might be too late. That's why I keep my sword. Plus, okay, the sun is still taking a while to set, but that new wood over there, that's a birch tree. You can use it to make birch planks, which are more white. Come on, send set. There we go. So it's daytime again, and I'm gonna go take my bed with me. Now, um, now you see we got seed, seeds, and why is there another monster? The weird thing is monsters are coming everywhere. And those were zombies. They draw blood and flood. But my question is, I think the monsters are coming from this cave. I'm not going to explore today, I told you. So I'm just going to keep on mining these, this grass until I get some seeds. There's, of course, an easy way to get grass or to clean out the area from grass or flowers. That's by taking a bucket of water and placing it. But in order to create a bucket, we need iron, which we can only get with caving. That's why I'm mining it. Yeah, I think my suspicion is correct. The monsters are probably coming from there. And I'm not too scared of them. Okay. Zombies, I'm very less. I'm, I'm the least scared of zombies. They're like so easy to take out. And yes, they can surprise attack you sometimes. But hey, the monsters, one of the monsters I'm most concerned about is those is creepers. That, that green thing that blew up, that green thing was a monster, called a creeper. The only thing you're most aware about. Come on, let's see if I get any more seeds. Seven seeds isn't a bad start. Just trying to get some more. You know. Okay, now we start a creeper. That's enough. Ah, yeah. You... And here's how I attack creepers. When you're running away, hit them with a sword and then move back so they don't explode in the face. I kill them. Oh man. Creepers can sometimes will sometimes drop gunpowder, which is pretty useful. But he didn't. Well that's sad and annoying. Creepers are one of, are not easy to battle. So just to tell you that. Okay, now, where, 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 where would I get? Oh, yeah, we only have seven seeds. I don't care. I'm, we can just create. The only thing we need now is a hoe. So, place down your crafting table. I'm going to make some sticks real quick. Put that in my inventory. And I don't know where my other sticks went, but I'm just going to create a stone hoe. What do I really don't need right now? So press LT on the hoe. This time you press it regularly, then you plant in seeds. Make sure you plant it fast enough, otherwise the thing might convert to dirt. See? And as you guys can see, I'm, pre I'm in order to place them, press LT. But I'm spamming my LT, but I can't place them on grass or dirt. That's why you need a hoe to till it. There we go. Now it takes a long time for seeds to grow. Water helps it grow faster. But again, we need it either needs to rain in, be in bedrock condition. This isn't available for Java. But if you're in bedrock, um, water hydrate plant. This means this thing over here, this will become a darker. It, it will become more darker and look more moist. And that can happen with rain in bedrock condition. However, in Java, this is no. The other way is by getting a bucket of water and placing it near them. But again, we need iron to do that. And in order for that, we need caving. Now, I'm, I'm not only going to talk about that. Some of the things I'm going to prepare are some of the basic steps you need to do. Okay. The first basic step, collect food. Cook it up. Don't eat raw food. Now... The next step is always collect wood if you're short on it. For example, I have 21 oak wood plate. That's why I'm not connecting any wood. Why is there zombie again? 
Hey, dude, eat this. I don't know where all these monsters are coming from. I'm not scared of them. Creepers, I'm less scared about creepers now. Okay, yeah, sometimes you think birds are skeletons. Skeleton monsters will look forward and we might see skeletons while caving in our next episode. If you see a cow, sorry cow. Cows drop leather and beef. Raw beef is better than cooked mutton. It, it's one of the best cooked foods, but I'm not going to really cook it up now. Because I have a bunch of this cooked mutton. So it's still taking a while. And I'm not just going to bore you guys by waiting here. But I think I'm going to go adventure a little. Be careful when adventuring though. Okay. Find monsters. You need to be extremely careful. But I can't believe I was finding a creeper barehanded. By barehanded I mean like with my fist. I didn't have anything. Okay, is that the ocean? I'm not gonna go there right now. Okay? I do not like oceans. This over here is gravel. Gravel is affected by gravity. That means if there's no block under it, it will fall, unlike dirt, which can just keep up floating. Oh, you see? Some of my meat bar, but some of my hunger bar are gone. See? One of it is gone now, and why is your spider? Ain't this your big eight eye monster? Why am I not getting any drop? In order to eat something, this time you don't just press it. You need to hold it until that two piece is gone. See? Now I'm full. It'll take a while for the hunger bars to go down though. However, especially when you're healing, your hunger bars go down faster. I'm going to destroy this horse. Horses drop leather. Just to tell you that. Okay, I don't get leather. The reason why I want leather is for leather armor. It isn't the best armor. But hey, at least it's something. Oh, come on. I can't do anything with a baby cow. Baby animals don't drop anything but experience. That green border is experience. We need it for enchanting. Yeah, it might, might, it might get a little laggy sometimes when I'm moving. But here we are again, and I'm still looking for some horses to kill. Like, we only have one piece of leather. I need more than that. And I want to create a leather touch plate. That gives the most protection of out of all armor. Now, some of this might not make sense, and I know. But armor basically le makes you take less damage, but also like towards... It has durability, which means it will eventually break. Since lead arm is the weakest, you have to be ready for it to break the pretty fast. It will pretty, it will probably break pretty fast. So now, the, a furnace. Make sure you always have a furnace and never make another wooden tool except the pickaxe, because. Pick stone tools mine faster than wood ones. And hoes, believe it or not, you might think they're only for planting. No, they mine certain things faster. For example, look at these leaves. These tools mine faster, but but it's still rugby, right? It's like I'm almost insta mining it. Hoes mine way faster, and an iron hoe can insta mine it. It just takes like a millisecond and then it's gone. Okay, there's a horse there. Let me check. Oh good, it's an adult one. Now, you can see me jumping and attacking. That's called a critical hit. That deals more damage to the monster. I mean, not the monster, but also the map. Two letter. Great. Now we have three. However, that's not what I was looking for. I still need five more letters in order to create a chest plate. Okay, guys, that's all for today. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. In our next episode, I've been saying this repeatedly, but we're going to cover caving. Now, I'm just going to give you a little tip about why I want to cave. And the reason why I want to cave is because I need to get more resources and I get dropped. Now, 
Just remember, make sure you have good items with you, always. The sword is for attacking, sword for attacking, axe for chopping. What? Oh no, oh no. See? That's why I always say be careful. These creepers are bad. They explode in your face. Did you see how much damage I take? And I heal very slowly. So I'm just gonna sleep to skip the night. And then... I am going to... And, but real quick, I'm going to tell you about durability. The green bar under my tool, that means that shows how much time is left before it breaks. So if it's dimmer, that means it's like the dimmer it gets, the, the, more, the less durability it has left. So just saying that. It's important you keep an eye on your durability because if your tools break, they'll be gone and you need to recraft them. Okay, so now we're done ending this episode. I'm going to t now remember to be safe. Try staying safe. If you don't have a bed, create a shelter real quick and stay in that to skip the night. You can also mine, but be careful not to mine straight down. Okay, that's a really risky thing. Might have heard that before, but... And that's all for today. Bye.